Memorandum from the Office of the President of the University. Open and honest classroom discussion is a hallmark of the Princeton experience. Consequently, from now on, students will be required to wear mandatory truth sensory gear in precept. Well, before we get started, I'd just like to say that I've been enormously satisfied with the way this precept has been going. And I don't think these censors will interfere with our progress at all. So, let's turn to the article I assigned you yesterday. I trust you've all read it. Edward. I found the article thoroughly stimulating. <coughs> I mean, very thought-provoking. <coughs> well, I'll just keep my mouth shut. <coughs> Marley, maybe you would like to continue with this discussion. Uh, I found the reading very big. Could you expand on that? Well, to tell you the truth, I've never seen a 300-page article before. I don't see why you waste your time in this class, Marley. I mean, you never do the readings, you rarely hand in your papers, and you never seem interested in the intriguing topics that come up in our discussions. Edward? Yes? I really respect your opinion. Mary, you've got a comment. Yes, I have some technical notes. On page one, line three, there's a run-on sentence. Oh, and there's a horrifying comma splice on page 105, line six. Oh, and on page 312, line 20, there's a really disgusting dangling modifier. Mary, this article isn't numbered by line. Mine is. I number everything I read. I find it very helpful during exams. Are you sure this thing's on, right? Marley, just because I spend a great deal of time in the library does not ipso facto make me a nerd. <laughs> Mary, you amaze me. Don't you know that those male-generated roles just keep you a victim of this system? You're a perfect example of our morally depraved and politically apathetic society. Oh, we can't even hold a discussion that isn't riddled with hypocrisy. It's as if this whole world were just one big black box controlling our minds until we can't even think. You'll have to excuse her. She's in mourning for her sense of humor. I have a perfectly fine sense of humor. I'd like to hear from someone else today. Uh, Joe, do you have something to add? Do I have something to add? It's the opposite of subtract. Well, I think... Oh, did that hurt you? Oh, Jennifer, dear, he's a big, strong boy and doesn't need your help. Oh, come on, she was just... Oh, sure, throw her in my face just because I told you I couldn't handle a relationship that was compromising my personhood. Relationship? I never. You're going out with her? It's not what you think. Okay, it was one night, a weekend. I didn't even enjoy it. You liar, you slime. When I told you I loved you, I meant it. <gasps> Cheating on me when I've been totally faithful. Uh, I'm not the kind of girl you can just push around. Uh, I won't do anything just for sex. Drake won the beef. Freshman boys get action. Sell these at the U store? For God's sake, can we get this class back to normal? Hard to act normal with the cattle prod stuck to your forehead. Well, if you people would just tell the truth. Yeah, why don't you try wearing one of these? All right, I'll put one on. Now, as the author of the article states, the electoral system is unfair only insofar as it depends on an untenable representative heuristic. Is that clear? Yep. Yeah. Ask another! Ask another! People, please! You won't be able to write your papers if you haven't read this article. Speaking about papers, when will we be getting our last ones back? I've finished grading most of them. A few of them. I'll get them back to you as soon as I can. As soon as I feel like it! I don't have to wear one of these things. I am not in graduate school for nothing! Time is up! If any of you would like to talk to me about any of this, you can come see me during my office hours. 
I am always available to students on Wednesdays from 3 to 5. 3 to 4. 3 to 3.30. Make an appointment! Tupac lives at the Wah. I knew it! 